Gold Hoarder vaults have gotten some really solid improvements in the Sea of Thieves Season 11 update. And I just wanted to make a quick video sharing all of the great changes that they got to help you become more informed about how things work. Functionally, Gold Hoarder vaults are the same, aside from there only being two tiers now, the Normal Vault and the Captain's Vault. The Captain's Vault being the better of the two, as it's the equivalent of what used to be a level 50 Gold Hoarder's Vault, which in case you didn't know, was the best one. But we also got three changes that don't necessarily revolutionize the way vaults work, but they do definitely make them a much better experience, regardless of if you're a brand new player or an experienced veteran. The first change that we're going to be going over is that the time that treasure vaults stay open is now based on your crew size. The larger your crew is, the less time you get, and vice versa, the smaller your crew is, the longer you have to grab all the treasure. I unfortunately don't know the exact amount of time that each crew size is given, but I think the next change on this list gives us something new that definitely helps with that. And that's that the fires surrounding the vault's altar, you know, where you put the medallions, are now lit up and slowly become extinguished over time as an indicator of how long the crew has left before the door slams shut. So if there's only one or two left, you better hurry. And finally, the last and probably most impactful change is that the treasure vault quest will now send crews to the nearest possible vault once the key is found. So although this will make the chance of getting the same keys for vault stacking more unlikely, the days of having to sail across the entire world from Crook's Hollow to Mermaid's Hideaway are over. 